Hi guys, welcome to the fifth part of this tutorial series of Next.js 13. In this video, we'll be talking about three different built-in files that Next.js provide in order to handle not found pages, error states, and the loading states for any component or the route. All right. So first of all, I have created these three files over here. We can create these files anywhere within any route. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about this not found file. If we cannot change its name, it's predefined. So in this file, we can uh, return anything uh, from here, any loader, any image. So any route that user try to hit, which is not exists in our project, let's say slash ABC, then this component will be automatically triggered. So if I copy it from here and paste it and I just call it not found and uh, I'm going to page not found. Okay. So if I go to the browser, reload, currently this is showing the home page. Okay. So uh, this is the home page, which is the page.tsx file and all the content inside the other routes, right? So when I try to enter any route that does not exist, it will not include anything that we are showing in the layout file, main layout file, just like these links, header and the footer. It will only ignore these children, okay? In the coming videos, I will show you how we can handle and even avoid these things to be shown and there, there are some better ways and best practice in order to structure over folders in order to create layouts and the nested uh, nested routes including the other shared components so once i'll be creating a long project by the end of this crash course i'll be showing you the best practices of uh, structuring your code accordingly right so now if i try to enter any url that does not exist like abc you can see that it is showing the page not found error okay so uh, this is coming from that not found page and everything that i have just said is visible okay so this is showing something that we have created the error.tsx file uh, inside our note and it's empty so just ignore that for now we are just going to fill that up you just need to remember that not found.tsx uh, file is added and it will be automatically triggered and you can even add not found.tsx file within any nested route let's say that we have this notes uh, folder or this dashboard folder and in the dashboard folder uh, we can add this file not found and it will be like when we try to enter slash dashboard slash abc so dashboard exists but slash abc after that does not exist only analytics and comments exist then in this case the not found whatever we will return are going to trigger uh, here okay so not found is not for the home route it's for the nested route as well we can load the different uh, kind of error if any route does not exist including nested routes okay now let's come back to the error right let's say that this thing uh, this node returns some kind of error okay then we need to trigger some kind of uh, ui that there is some error on this page or the data okay so let me first fill this error file so in this error file, we can again copy something from here and I'm going to paste here an error and this CSS module is over here and uh, there is an error on this page. Okay, just a random message. Now, it will not trigger anything because this page is working fine there is it's not throwing an error just for testing so later on when we'll call some apis and api some throw an error and that triggers uh, this error.tsx file so whether it's server side component or client side components then we will uh, modify it and we'll show it for now let's return new error from here okay so we are just testing if error.tsx file actually triggers or not for now just to test it 
I'm just throwing it from here. So let's save it. So I'm just going to trigger node slash one. Okay. One thing I forgot here that this error.tsx file is a front end thing to handle. And as I've said at the start of my crash course that we need to make the components client side by adding this use client at the top there is this error handling has to be done from front end side so there is no point of showing any error which is uh, which is coming from the server side okay so if we are going to call something from the api then it will become a server side everything that involves showing error or user interaction like clicking on button and something like that will make it use client component so it does not render or fetched from the server so if i save this file now so it's giving an error because we have created an empty loading.tsx file so it's not returning anything that's why it's showing some kind of uh, error so for now let's let's uh, just copy something from here and i'm just going to fill it up and I'm going to add some loading state here. Okay, so let's bring this CSS. Okay, I'll modify it later on. So now let's come back to our browser. Now you can see that this notes slash one is showing there is an error on this page. So uh, I have returned this error. So here you can see that uh, just for testing if error.tsx actually triggers. So I have returned this new error, but it doesn't work like this. Later on when we'll call an API and API returns some kind of error, then this error.tsx will be automatically triggered. So we can add error.tsx on any uh, route, any nested route as well so it works automatically and triggers automatically now let's come back that we have filled the loading.tsx and uh, here if we want to show some kind of loader, loader in will uh, if we want to show some kind of loader it will be automatically triggered but it is so quick that we cannot even see this in order to see this loader uh, we need to modify it so loader there is an error so let's let's write loading okay and loading is over here for the for the main nodes route okay because i have added loading over here so it means that if that there is some kind of data that is api needs to return over here then this loading.tsx file automatically will be triggered unless and until the api does not return any data from the server okay so currently we don't have an api so i'm going to create a function that is going to return a promise right so i'm just going to create here so get data and uh, it's going to return promise of type string since we are using the TypeScript and it's going to return new promise resolve reject and I'm going to wait for two seconds if I quickly return this data from here and resolve it it's not going to show up on the screen to our eyes. So I'm waiting for two seconds. And here I'm going to call this data string await get data. Okay, and for using await, I need to write async. And let me show you the data over here. All right, so now I'll hit save. This loading, oh, I have messed this up. I had to write this thing in page.tsx. So let's copy it from here and write over here. And uh, I'm going to copy this line as well. 
make it async all right and in t tag i'm going to write data okay and i'm going to revert everything inside the loading file all right so now it is going to get compiled page now let's navigate to the slash notes route because this loading and the page exists in the notes route on the browser if i enter into the notes route you will see it's showing loading for two seconds and now it's showing notes page and here it's showing the p tag with the data which is the string and if i refresh this so whatever we are returning from the loading.tsx file it's going to show up over here so again just like other files we can add this loading.tsx files uh, in any of these routes any of the nested routes or the parents routes and usually we use loading.tsx file when uh, we have a server components and the data needs to be loaded from the apis from the server currently just for testing i've just returned the promise so that's it so i think for this video that's pretty much it if you like it make sure you hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching